very energetic. He's very funny when he wants to be. And he, I don't know, he usually always makes me happy if I had a bad day. He's just like an extremely outgoing, fun, energetic kid. He has a great sense of humor. He is very like bright. So you just, you know, he has a really cute smile and he usually makes people feel happy like when they're around him. Nine-year-old RJ Ferguson is known as being a bright light and very cheery to his family and friends. About a year ago, he started experiencing pain, particularly at night. And after months of testing and doctors and trying to figure out what was going on, RJ received his diagnosis two days before his ninth birthday. So May 4th, we got the diagnosis of um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia once they had done the bone marrow um, biopsy. And um, it was pretty, pretty shocking. It was like one of those calls where you just kind of just hear, you don't really hear what they're saying and just thinking all the worst. But um, it seems like it's been an eternity since we got that call and that was only back in May. Now it's, it's been a journey to accept it and to, to realize that he is a tough, kid and he is a fighter and we fight for him and he makes it easier to fight for. He's very positive um, and his, his outlook looks very, very good and he's been progressing very well with treatment, thankfully. I think at first it was a lot to process, like it was kind of like not really real, more like in denial, but then like, you know, after a few months passed and everything things kind of started to get a little bit more normal. As RJ continues his treatment, his favorite NHL team invited him and his family to participate in their Hockey Fights Cancer celebrations. When I was in kindergarten, their mascot came to my school and um, handed out um, hats. I'm really excited to watch the game and meet all the players. It's just so amazing. Um, it, it makes me emotional thinking about it. And I think even for him, like it's just so amazing that people are honoring him. As a parent, you think about all the things he misses that he's not able to do, and to have something this this amazing is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So hopefully, like, when he gets over this, he'll, he'll look back and, you know, it wouldn't be all bad, and he'll remember this time, and it'll stand out. So it really means a lot to us. And in net, we got... VTech Manager. All right! Oh, woo! Good job, buddy. A native of Middletown, New Jersey, RJ was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia this past May and continues his treatment at Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. Thank you, RJ. So RJ is a fighter, uh, and RJ uh, really exemplifies uh, the, the spirit, that fighting spirit, among uh, the children that we care for and also among the adults. Uh, RJ is still undergoing treatment uh, right now, uh, but despite uh, going through treatment, uh, he's here tonight uh, raising awareness and taking advantage of this opportunity uh, and he's a real inspiration. Uh, kids like RJ are what uh, make all of us uh, double down on our efforts and work that much harder uh, to try to find new treatments and new cures. Each year Hockey Fights Cancer is one of those pivotal dates that raises such important funds for really important projects that make a, a real impact on our patients and our communities. So this year's uh, donation, a very generous donation from the New Jersey Devils and Hockey Fights Cancer is going to the Zulo uh, Palliative Care Program, uh, which is an incredibly important program at the Bristol Myers Squibb Children's Hospital and RWJ University Hospital. The Rutgers Cancer Institute, in partnership with RWJ Barnab Barnabas, uh, cares for uh, uh, people with cancer from you know childhood all the way through adulthood and the Zulo uh, palliative care program is focused on inpatients children at the Bristol Myers Squibb Children's Hospital and provides all sorts of supportive services for the patient and for the patient's family and so this is an incredibly worthwhile and important initiative uh, for this kind of support to come into and so we're very grateful. If you would like to learn more about the Devil's celebrations for Hockey Fights Cancer or participate in the team's warm-up jersey auction, go to NewJerseyDevils.com slash Hockey Fights Cancer. For this episode of Jersey Life, I'm Katherine Bogart.